Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's West Ham United up against Leeds United. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goalscorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. And now they get the ball rolling. Rafinha. Well, not hard to read that pass. Ben Rama. On the ball, Diop. For Niles. For Niles. Antonio. He read the situation defensively and did his job. For sure. On to Bamford. Now can they make something happen? Mastery of the passing game. Four shot. James. He's trying to create something. And can they exploit the space out wide? And options in the centre. Sends it back. And the danger is averted. Dallas. On the ball, Luke Ayling. Not an easy one to cut out, really. Junior Firpo. James and now it's Phillips Bamford just not looking confident in possession Vladimir Kuval Suchek for Niles Ben Rama. Antonio. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Pablo Fornals. Textbook defending inside the box. Attacking possibilities for West Ham. Antonio. And pulled back. Can he put them ahead? Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide.
Antonio. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Will it happen for them? Well, no luck keeping possession. Dallas. It's with Diego Llorente. Rafinha. Stuart Dallas. Here's Rafinha. Porchon. James. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. And he read it well defensively. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Well, they no longer have the ball. Stuart Dallas. Liam Cooper with it. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he improves in the second half. Into the second half, then. And these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Aaron Cresswell. Rice with it. For Niles. And he was in the right place to intercept. Patrick Bamford. Still passing it around with authority. Ailing. Bamford. And he takes on the shot. Well, he missed the target and then some. Wide it went. Getting the ball forward. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Suchek. Ball with Pablo Fornals. Declan Rice. And you can sense the threat is there. A chance to whip it in. Decided to come in from the flank. Firing is in. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Well, just listen to these fans. They're urging their team to score here and take the lead. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And there's the delivery. Now it still could be dangerous. It might be on for them. Well, they are to intercept. Good technique displayed. Plays it back. Can they forge ahead? Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Possession changing hands. 
Well, there you have it. West Ham have had so much of the possession. But with the talent they have on show here, the lack of quality in the attacking third has been a real disappointment. They need to play with more urgency to win this one. Vladimir Kuval. Declan Rice. Well, they keep the ball moving. Chance to play it in. Oh, moving it nicely. And a fine cross. And a no-nonsense clearance. Antonio. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Patrick Bamford. the ball once more just 15 minutes remaining well West Ham haven't been at their best today but just listen to these fans they believe a winner's coming here over the touchline for a throw in here it is now, a substitution. Will he play it in? They could nudge in front. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance, and the fans are laughing this up. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Jared Bowen and snuffing out the danger Suchek well it's almost over but not quite the fans still with a bit of nail biting to do Stuart well they need to hold on here not long left now but you have to say they've defended really well up to this point and I just can't see them conceding now this will be a really good win if it stays like this Following the clearance, it will be a corner. <laughs> and short it is. That's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. <laughs> Harrison. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Well, do they have a goal in their future? They're giving it a go. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick.
Bamford. And options in the centre. And that is going to be all for this game, and it's going to be recorded as a win for West Ham. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. And I think it's fair to say he'll be happy with his own contribution in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.